Let's look at question four um, of the 2022 final paper that was written by the matrix. So this particular question focuses on taxation. Taxation is a nice long topic with quite a lot of marks. So if you are not sure about what's happening with taxation, you want to pay very close attention. Let's read the question. It says to us here, um, 4.1, Mr. Lowe, aged 53, earned an annual taxable income. So you need to know the difference between tax and taxable income. Okay, so taxable income means that this person went and paid that much for tax. An annual means yearly. Those are important when we do taxation. Okay, so this person is 53. Sometimes it's important why they tell you the age because of the rebate. And then sometimes it's not really important. But just pay attention to those. So we know that this is already calculated for us. Nice. For the year ending in 28 February 2022. So that's when the, the, the year end is, financial year end. He does not contribute to any medical aid. Also, um, as a side note, yet again, when it comes to taxation, do not subtract anything that is not given to you. If they don't say to you, UIF is charged at 1%, don't go and now subtract UIF because you are making an assumption that this person is paying for UIF. Don't um, add and subtract things that are not given in the question. So now at least you are being told this person is not contributing to medical aid, um, which puts us at ease. But even if we were not told, we need to know. If medical aid was not given, then this person is not paying for medical aid or maybe it's not important for us to know about medical aid. Use the, in the information um, to answer the questions that follow. So that's all that we are given. The following formula can be used to calculate annual tax payable before um, the rebate. Another term you need to understand before going into the exam. What is a rebate? A rebate is just simply a refund. It's a refund that SARS gives you according to your age. Okay, annual tax payable before rebate, we are given the formula. That's the formula for it. Nice thing here, we are not given the table. We are already given the formula as it is. However, you need to be able to know how to identify the formula yourself um, from the tax table. If you are given a tax table, you need to know how to use it. So it says here, use the, the, use the formula to calculate Mr. Lowe's annual tax payable before the rebate. So what we are then going to do um, is that we are going to say, we're going to use the, 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 um, the table as it is basically. Okay, we're going to use the formula or the table exactly as it is given. I'm going to assume that, okay, let me just, I need to, oh yeah, that is a one. So this is 150. So 115,762. I'm rewriting it as it is initially. But I also like doing this as well um, when it comes to this. So I would say 36 all over 100 because 36% tells me um, that that is a number over 100. Okay. Multiplied. Um, so multiplied. So this is a 1. So multiplied um, by then the taxable income that they've already calculated. So what they've calculated there is 495. So, 495, I love that it's already given to you, 495, um, 602, minus the money that they've given you there. So, this is all in rands, minus 488,700. And it's three marks because you didn't have to go and do a lot. Um, because it's already given to you. I would first find this. So I would say 115,762 
and then I would go put those into my calculator. So if I'm putting those values into uh, my calculator, fraction, 36%, 36 over 100, uh, multiplied by 495, 602, minus 488,700. I'm putting all of that into my calculator. Always remember to double check your answers. So that is then given as 2,000. Um, 484, 2,484, don't forget the commas, don't round off to 0.72, don't round off too early, so we're going to take those numbers and add them together, so it's going to be 115,000 plus 115,762. Okay, so that's exactly how we are going to do those two numbers over there. And then we are going to get um, 118,246,72. That is 118,242,72. So that means that is the amount that this person is going to pay to SARS. Interesting, isn't it? So there's a whole formula that SARS uses. Also know what SARS stands for. Yeah. Mr. Lowe feels that the monthly tax table is an easier option for him to calculate his tax payable. Remember I said to you, oh no, um, it's already given to you. How easy. So now they are coming in and saying, listen, there's a tax table. So table five below shows the monthly deductions for three income categories again here. Okay, so then we have here monthly tax table yet again. So it says to us here um, in terms of the rebates, these are the, these are the rebates um, according to the person and how old they are. Okay, that's very, very, very important for us to know um, what that means. So it says the monthly rebate for a person younger than 65 old is 1,368,075. Um, Verify showing all calculations whether um, his monthly tax will be correct according to the monthly deduction table. Quite interesting. So we know that this person is 53. So if someone is 53, they qualify for a primary rebate, okay? So they qualify for a primary rebate, meaning we are only gonna subtract that particular amount. So the rebate is subtracted from this amount. That's where the rebate is subtracted from. So we are just verifying. Um, if what we are saying in terms of the monthly deduction is correct. So we then go to the total amount this person is going to pay, which is what we calculated in the previous, um, which is going to be 118,246. Um, and then whether we go and we subtract this first, because remember this is monthly rebate, ne? or whether we decide that we are going to subtract it at the end. However that you decide you want to do it is also totally up to you. I want to actually see if we can first divide this by 12, which is, because remember this is annually. Let me write it here for you so you can remember the, the mental note. This is yearly. This is what this person is going to pay to SARS yearly. So if we divide this by 12, it will tell us what this person is going to pay to SARS monthly. So that amount, um, comma 72. Oh, don't forget the 72. You see, the calculator just reminded us. Um, and already I was making an error there because of that. Comma 72. My numbers are not looking so good. There we go. Okay. So we need to first see how much that's going to give us. 
So we divide this number by 12. So this is going to be 9,853,89. Okay. So that's going to give us 9,853,89. But we know the monthly rebate, meaning whatever that that person is getting as a refund. Rebate means um, refund. We need to subtract from this, which is 1,368,75. So... 9,853,89 minus 1,368,75. We are not panicking. We are doing it exactly as it is given. So that's 8,485,14. Eight thousand four hundred and eighty-five comma fourteen per month. Now we need to go and see if this number matches the number in the table. Let's go see. So this is the table we have. Under 65. And this person has a monthly income of that. How do we know this person has a monthly income of that? We go back all the way up. This is our guiding factor to tell us how much um, of an annual taxable income this person has. So the annual taxable income for this person is 495,062. I mean, and yeah, sorry, 495,602. So we need to take this number as it is and we need to make it monthly, okay? So that's 492,95,602. We divide this because this is annual according to what they gave us. So we want to see which bracket this person falls under because we've been given three brackets here. So we are not sure if they are there, they or there. So that was just me making a wild accusation. I was being wild. Okay, let's go and divide that. So 495602 divided by 12. So monthly... This person makes 41,300,17. Now we can see which bracket this person falls under. 41,300. 41,300 does not fall here, number one. 41,300 falls in the second tax bracket. So 41,300 falls under here. And this person is that age. So we want to see if our tax was correct. So it says 8,491. And let's go see what we calculated. 8,491. It's close, um, but it's not correct. It's close. But it's not, okay, I don't want to say it's not correct, but it's not exactly what we are being asked with it being. You are going to get a mark for saying, therefore, therefore, his claim is not valid. Out of these six marks, one mark comes from you just making a claim. So if you left your answer somewhere there, you are not leaving me much to work with, meaning you have now lost one mark out of the six marks. Be careful not to lose such marks, okay? 
Write down the pro they, probability. When I said probability is part of uh, paper one, this is exactly what I meant. But it's a small portion yet again, and it's two marks. Write down the probability of selecting a monthly tax amount of 847 for a person over 75 um, from this monthly tax table. So we are then going to use what we are given in terms of um, what we are being asked. So this is 4.1.3. And if I look at the tax table that I am given for 4.1.3, I need to then find this number in that table. 4,800, I mean 8,473. 8,473. I can see it there for someone who is under 65. But my question says to me, it has to be for someone over 75 years. Am I going to find the same number for someone over 75 years? No, I don't have 8,473 in this um, text bracket that I've been given here. This means it's zero all over three because there's three possibilities, okay? So meaning this is zero percent. I have also not been told um, whether I need to write it as a fraction, a percentage, or a decimal. So whatever way that I choose to use, I can get all of my marks. I hope that makes sense.